looks like we're going to head into some more rain, which is a good thing. Of course. Yeah, we do want the rain. Yes. We do. We're just, you know, we don't want uh, <laughs> too, yeah. too much of it, but right. yeah, we exactly. want the rain. Too much of a good thing. And you know what? <laughs> I just want to say this is beneficial. It's great yeah. as long as we don't get a lot of rain yeah, the over time. one area for right, an extended <laughs> period of time, especially a burn area. So that's where things get hairy. But the rain is good. We'll take it. And our rainfall totals, well, they've gone down a little bit. So we're sort of getting the right amount for the most part. But of course, there's still a threat of flooding and flash flooding. We are not in the clear, at least not yet. So as we get a look at satellite radar, here's a look at the big picture. You're going to see some thunderstorm cells developing to our east, offshore to our south. Right now, it doesn't look like we're seeing any thunderstorms, but we are seeing a healthy amount of rain starting to come through the basin. We're starting to get a few showers through the San Fernando Valley. There's a quick moving cell that's just coming in up and over Agora right there on South Canaan Dume. So, of course, that gets a little hairy as far as the commute goes as you make your way into Malibu. But again, a fast moving cell. Now, a little more significant as we take satellite radar right here and zoom it in to Palm Springs. So you'll see downtown Palm Springs along the 111 and North Indian Canyon Road. We're just looking at showers, but it starts to get a lot heavier right here as we start heading toward Dillon Road. And of course, the mountains in the area, that's where we're getting hit with some of the big cells. And the thing to remember with the desert is we don't get a lot of rain in the desert. So when we do, flooding is certainly a possibility. We have flash flood watches up across Southern California. We're going to show you where in just a moment. You will see near Victorville in the high desert. This is where a lot of the thunderstorm activity is favorable as we head into the overnight hours and the evening hours. Now, wind is a factor right now as well. We've seen some significant wind gusts across Southern California. 21 mile per hour winds for Lancaster, 20 for Big Bear, 14 for Riverside and 15 for Temecula. Now there is a flash flood warning in effect. That cell I just showed you near Palm Springs, this is where we could get flash flooding as you make your way into Indio there. This is going to last through 630, so about another hour or so. We're going to continue to monitor conditions. And as we pull back and get a look at the big picture right here, warning-wise on radar, we still have heat on our hands at least through this evening as far as warnings go. Flood conditions and flood watches blanketing most of our desert communities tonight and of course burn areas a big concern as well. We're going to continue to keep our eye on this warning of course as we move through the next hour or so and we're going to continue to keep our eye on radar all night long. So stick with us for now though. I'll send it back to you.